you sure? I don't think. Is the Honolulu Police Department's training academy in Waipahu haunted? Well, some say it is. Yeah, on this Halloween night, the department has allowed us to share another video, the unexplained paranormal experiences of a former security guard. During the day, it's a pretty busy place with all the officers, training staff, and recruits on campus. But once the sun goes down, oh, this place is totally different. It's dark, no traffic, no pedestrians, Nothing. And that's when strange things start to happen. That's why I hate coming here at night. But, believe it or not, HPD has overnight security guards to keep an eye on this place. One of them is a friend of mine named Tony. Well, one night, as he was doing his building checks, he heard a sound like wood clanking together. Now, no one was supposed to be here that night. So he went to go check it out. As he passed the K-9 building, he could hear the dogs going nuts in the kennels, running around, barking, kicking their food dishes. So he knew he wasn't the only one who could hear it. When he got near the SWAT house, the noise got louder and louder. As he looked at the building, he noticed that all the wooden shutters were opening and closing repeatedly. There was no one standing next to the windows working the shutters. What's more, it was a windless night, so the wind wasn't blowing the shutters either. Tony took a few steps closer to the swan house, and all at once, the shutters stopped moving. It was dead quiet. Even the dogs stopped barking. Tony slowly walked towards the SWAT house, peeked in through the window, and said, Hello? Anyone here? But no one answered, and the building was empty. But wait, Tony's story doesn't end there. A couple of nights later, Tony was doing his regular routine, closing the front gate, making sure it was secured, and doing his checks around the property. Everything seemed normal, and of course, he was the only one at the academy, so he decided to sit down in the breezeway to pass the time. But as he stared out into the parking lot, he noticed an old lady, dressed in white, walking towards him. At first, he thought the lady may have been lost or needed help, so Tony waved at her to get her attention. But she didn't respond and kept walking toward him. The funny thing crossed his mind. He didn't hear the gate open. So how did she get in? As Tony stood up to ask the old lady, she disappeared. Tony thought, oh no, not again. But this time, he decided he better call his supervisor about it. So he turned, and guess who's standing there? Yep, the lady in white. And guess what? She starts slowly walking towards him, eyes fixed and staring at him, by now, Tony is freaking out. He's so scared. He can't move. He's frozen. She's so close to him that he notices that her face looks angry. He tries to yell or scream. Nothing comes out. Then whoosh. She disappears again. Tony let out a sigh of relief and slowly looked around. But this time, no one was there. He sat back down to gather his thoughts. He couldn't believe that the ghost appeared twice and was coming after him. Tony was about to stand up and call his supervisor when guess who decides to show up? Yup, the old lady was back and this time she was sitting right across from him. This was too much for Tony to handle. He sprang up and broke it the heck out of there. See? Tony should have taken my advice the first time. And none of this would have happened.
Who are you trying to find? A ghosty. A ghost? Yeah, a ghosty. But weren't you just trying to find Reagan? Yeah. Where do you think she is? Reagan is the ghosty. Reagan is the ghost? Yeah, Reagan is the ghosty. Well, what's a ghost's face look like? What are we doing? What does that mean? You hear that ghost? Yeah. And then they got that ghost. Okay. I'll be right there, Reagan. Mommy. I go It's time to try the Viking 